Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. A few months ago I shared how to create a confetti brush in Photoshop and since then I've gotten a few requests on how to do the same thing in Illustrator. So in this quick tip tutorial I want to share exactly how quick and easy that is to accomplish in Illustrator. So on my screen you see the final outcome of this tutorial. You can see up here we've got a basic round confetti scatter and down here you can see we've got stars um, in a confetti formation. And the difference between these two is that all of my circles are the same size here, whereas down here I've got different scale going on with my different stars, and there's also rotation happening. So if you look at the points of the stars, they kind of move around as you go throughout this. So we're gonna be using our brush tool with creating our confetti brush. So I'll go over all the different customizations that you have because we're using the brush tool. So I'm gonna get rid of these for now and I'm gonna get rid of my settings over here so we can build these from scratch. And the first thing we're gonna do is create our basic circular confetti. So I'm just gonna grab my ellipse tool over here. I'm gonna hold shift and just drag out a very small circle. It's important to start small because you can always scale up very easily, but there's a limit to how small you can go. So if you start small, you can just move up from there and it's much easier. So I'm gonna keep my circle nice and small in here. This is an 11 inch by eight and a half inch artboard just to give you an idea of scale. And I just got a circle that's filled in. That's it, nothing crazy and it doesn't even matter what color it is. So I'm gonna rubber band select just my circle and then I'm gonna come over here to my brushes palette. If you don't see this, you can get to it by going window brushes. And you're just gonna click on this little icon down here for a new brush. Once you do that, you're gonna get this new dialog box that comes up and you're gonna choose scatter brush and hit okay. Now we get this panel that's got a bunch of different settings and I'm going to walk you through each one. It's not scary at all, I promise. So for scale, this is just saying if I leave it at fixed, it's always going to be this size. It's not going to change in scale at all. Like you saw with our stars, some of them were big and some of them were little. This maintains that all of them are always going to be the same size. So I'm going to keep this fixed because I kind of like that with the circles. So for spacing, this is the spacing in a line between your circles. It's not your y-axis up and down spacing. This is just along your x-axis. So we're going to create a random spacing because that will be more true to what a confetti um, what confetti really looks like. And once you choose random, you can see this little slider becomes active over here. So this determines the amount of randomness. So at 100%, it's not random at all. The more you increase it, the more spaced out they will become. The lower you decrease it, the tighter together they'll become. And that's not very confetti-like at all. So we wanna bump this way up. So I'm gonna go all the way to 725%. The next one is scatter, so this is the amount of space on your y-axis. So this is the kind of ex explosion look that uh, confetti has. So right here we're gonna toggle down, we're gonna choose random. And once again, we're gonna toggle this way up. And rotation, we don't need rotation at all because it's a circle, no matter how much it rotates, it's always gonna look the same. Next down here on colorization, this is the part where you wanna choose tints and shades. By selecting tints and shades, this allows you to change the color of your confetti by using the color palette. If you don't do this, you're always gonna have to come back to this panel and change it with the eyedropper, and that's pretty annoying, so don't do that. So we're gonna hit okay, and now we're gonna test out our brush. You can see this brush was added to our brushes palette. So I'm just gonna hit B on my keyboard to activate my brush tool, and I'm just gonna draw a wavy line. And you can see, these are the settings that I have, but over here, it's not looking as scattered as I'd like it to look. So I'm just gonna select my brush, I'm gonna double click over here on my scatter brush. Oh, and you can name it right here too. So if I want this one to be called circular confetti. Now, once you have already drawn this out by using your brush, it's a little weird in Illustrator, you don't get a preview like you do in Photoshop, but now you do. So you have to draw it out first and now we can, um, whatever we change over here, we're gonna be able to instantly see over here so we can get our settings exactly perfect. So I would suggest you know, putting in some rough settings first, coming back here and fine tuning it afterwards because you'll have the preview option. So now I'm gonna increase my scatter a little bit more and that's looking a lot better. And maybe I want these a little tighter together. All right, so that feels very confetti-like. So I'm happy with that, I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna always say apply to strokes. So now I've got some really beautiful uniform confetti going on, and if I don't like the color of this, all I have to do is come over to my color palette. If you don't see this, you can get to it by going window color, and you're just gonna toggle your knobs, and you can see instantly my confetti is changing colors. So 
because we selected the tints and shades within that dialog box, I can delete this extra circle now. Now we're gonna create the star one. So I'm gonna come down here, toggle down and choose your star tool. And if you click and drag out, but this is a custom one that I made, I'd have to restart Illustrator to get to the default, but you can get a star that looks like this just by holding Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and you just click and drag and then this will determine how kind of pointy or spiky your star is. And I like a, a spikier star because it seems um, a little more expressive. So I'm gonna scale this way down like we did before. So I got a really tiny star here just to use as our base. Now I'm gonna come back over to our brushes palette. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna click new brush right here we're going to select scatter brush, hit OK, and we're going to come into our settings again, and this time I'm going to do star confetti. This time we're going to choose a random size, and we get our slider over here, so I'm going to bump this up just slightly, because this one can get pretty out of control if you go way up like we do with spacing and scatter. So we're going to go back to similar settings that we had for our spacing and scatter. I'm just going to bump it way up because we're going to come back and fine tune it later. This time I want a rotation because it's a star and we're going to notice that it's rotating because confetti, it, it's very random by nature, so we want to make sure we've got a rotation on this. So I'm just going to bump that up, colorization, tints and shades, hit OK. And now we're going to hit B on our keyboard and we're just going to draw out a line. And that's actually looking pretty good. So I'm going to double click and let's see if we can fine tune this at all. Let's see what happens if we reduce the spacing and maybe increase the size a little. I think I like it a little smaller. But as you can see, we've got some really itty bitty stars and we've got some large stars. So it's a nice variation right here. So that's how you create a varied scale confetti brush. And now whenever you need to use your confetti brush, you just hit B on your keyboard. Make sure the brush that you want to use is selected right here. You can draw it out. Once it's drawn out, make sure you select it if you want to change the color. Come up to your color palette and this is where you can adjust your sliders and really change the color and you can just start layering them on top of each other and if I want this to one to be a little bit of a different color you can get some nice um, variation going on. So that's how you create a confetti brush in Illustrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday and don't forget to head on over to my blog every tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.